In this video, I want to show you how to add a file to your It's Learning course. You can add files from the hard drive of your computer, from a jump drive, an external drive, from your server space at school, which is called your H drive, or if you have files on Dropbox or a Google Drive account, which all teachers and students have in Forsyth County, you can add files from those locations as well. So in my course, in the last lesson, we looked at how to add folders. Now I want to show you two differences in adding files. You can add a file inside a folder or outside of a folder. Notice when I click on my Unit 1 folder, I get a green plus sign with the word Add. Now if I want to put a file inside that Unit 1 folder, I would click this green plus Add. If I don't want the file inside the folder, I would use the one that is not indented in the folder. So I'm going to put my file inside my Unit 1 folder, so I'm going to click this indented plus add. And from the list of items where I can add, I'm going to choose file or folder. And then I'm simply going to click where it says add files. Notice I can add files. This is from my computer, a jump drive, external drive. I can add an entire folder from any of those locations. From Dropbox if you have your own account, or Google Drive. Now be cautious, Google Drive will convert your file to a Microsoft product, so you'll lose that whole collaboration aspect. If you want to do a Google Drive file, add that as a link instead of a file. So I'm going to choose File. It's going to pull up my H drive here at the school. Just navigate to find the file that you want to add. Click Open. You'll see that file uploaded. Click Save and then you'll see that file. If I click on it, it'll open that file for me. Now I want to show you a couple things with your files. I'm going to click back on the Unit 1 folder over here in my tree, and it's going to open what I call a table of contents. That is just showing me everything inside that particular folder. And in this list, notice there's an active column. If for some reason I do not want my students to see the file that I just uploaded yet, I can change this active yes by clicking it over to no, and now the students no longer see it. Notice in the tree, the file name has turned to italics. Anything that's in italics means that you can see it, but your students cannot see it. So I'm going to click yes. Notice it's going to go back to being non-italicized. So let's repeat that process. Click the indented add, choose file or folder, click where it says add files, choose files, choose what, what you want to add, click open, once it processes hit save, and then you'll see that file added as well. Good luck adding files to your course.